night shift. Oh, what do you think you're doing here? We're not ready yet. I mean, unless you're here for... Huh, okay. Maybe this isn't so bad. Before we begin, what is your name? I was going to keep it the same, Charon. Nice street racing. <laughs> God. Uh, God, what is that? A Camelot Drift? Sweet. Nice to meet you, Charon. I'm... Oh, we'll get to that. For now, can you let me know? What is it you do for a living? I work in retail. Oh, man. Poor you. Long hours, rude customers. Haven't you always wanted to do something exciting? Well, today's your lucky day. Is my... Me and my... Is uh, my buddy... Okay, that's cool. Bro, that's cool. You're not that thing you said. I promise I was listening anymore. From this day on, you're going to be a knight. <clears throat> it's all about chivalry, probably. Racist. Aren't you, like, totally psyched? No, where am I? These are the same choices we did before we stopped and did a little bit of time-wasting. Well, I'm glad you asked. Welcome to your new home. The Honeycomb Kingdom. It's not much to look at, I know. But that's not the point. It's got everything a kingdom could ask for. Green fields, friendly folks. It's great. Now look, I know this is going to sound strange, but hear me out. I'm afraid... Oh, I hate this bit. You're... Dead. <clears throat> Wait, what? That can't be true. Are you? God. Is this an isekai? <laughs> well, no. Red light, but with knights. No, 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 no. Well, uh, maybe. Work with me here. Look, I get it. Really, I do. We've all been in your shoes before down here. Well, up here. Don't sweat it. You're not in, you're not in hell or anything. Even though, <laughs> it can feel like that sometimes. Am I right? I have no idea. Oh, right. So basically, this is the afterlife. Surprise! Your pastor was right. I mean, if you went to church or whatever, you could be a Hindu for all I know. Not that Charon is a particularly Hindu sounding name. A unless it is. S sorry. Oh, jeez, I'm really screwing this up. I'm sorry. I'm covering a shift right now. You know how it is. I'm not exactly what you'd call trained for this. So listen, in a couple of seconds, you're going to wake up in your new bed, in your new house, in, and it's going to sound kind of weird, so bear with me, your new body. First things first, we gotta get you to orientation. So like, I know, magic voice in your head tells you to go to some kind of afterlife orientation. Why would you wanna listen? Head on over to the office, okay? And uh, Charon, wasn't it? Welcome to night shift, to the night shift. <laughs> it's their first day. Yeah, I didn't even pick up on that. That's such a pretty uh, good little bit of advice, KV. Oh, one more thing. You'll find a job journal in your pocket when you wake up. You can use it to check your jobs. If you ever stuck or forget what you've got to get done, you can find it in your main menu. In fact, let's check it out right now. Ah, there we go. Get out by a faintly nervous voice to head to the Blighton Afterlife Authority office. Best to get a wiggle on. Wouldn't want to be late on your first day. Because, uh, knowledge. The ultimate reward for <laughs> the ultimate reward. Oh, God. There's something here, but it's too dark to see. To judge the space. Yeah, I would set, definitely suggest using the word wrap font if you can find one. They help a lot. And you don't have to worry about judging space or anything. It just does it automatically. Yeah. Be late on your first day. <laughs> it was too dark to see. Oh, it's all too dark to see. Find a file, love. Who even knows what the rules are here? Potion? Potion. It's all too dark to see. Can I turn on my... Uh... Nope. Okay, well... It's fine. Your front door is locked. Wouldn't it be amazing if you had your house keys? At least you assume you have house keys. It'd make sense, right? Even corpses need to lock up. How do I turn on the lights? Oh. The window. Open the curtains? Yes. There we go. An envelope containing a couple of items. There are a few loose coins and a large brass key. You got three quid. You got the item. You got the key item. House key. Tasty word wrap. 
fireplace. This whole place looks pretty low-tech. Guess this is what passes for central heating around here. Cozy, though. Oh, no. We went from modern plumbing to having to shit in the woods. It's a clock, but the hands don't seem to be moving. Ominous. A chopping board with a knife set down on it. And some kind of tuber you've never seen before. A V-tuber? Man, I bet you could equip that knife. Pick up the knife. You could equip it from the equip menu. Maybe I was up with that now. Kitchen knife. They pick this up for your new ghost kitchen. <laughs> yeah, perfectly retro. God. A stove. Even a ghost's got to eat. You take a moment to realize they may actually technically be a ghost now. Shells upon shells of bits and bobs. I guess these are yours now. Okay, let's go. Is this what the South is? Hello there. You must be the new knight that everyone's talking about. Oh, I'm so excited. I bet you know your way around a sword, don't you? Not a clue. You're serious? Uh, not even a single clue? I'm gonna enjoy this. What? What? Tutorial Ghost Emerged. What? Here we go! Come at me with your best shots! <laughs> what? What? We get that toilet paper and trees steaming, oh my god. The shit in the woods! Ooh! Guess what? You can attack, use magic, or even guard! Just use the menus to keep hitting me! Oh, I have heal, okay. And guard, okay. It might seem obvious, but to win a fight, you have all you have to do is reduce your enemy's hit points to zero. Well, that's how these things tend to work, eh? Uh, thanks for the input. You're welcome. Uh, the hair is a little darker on the battler, but other than that, I think it looks fine. Ooh, keep it up! I'm like halfway there. Um... What kind of fucking ghost is this again? I have never been more proud of anybody than I am of you at this very moment! Oh no! Sharon was victorious. Only ghost. Oh! You defeated me! God, if I were comport- Oh my god, he is! Oh, I would be rock hard right now. <laughs> what a wholesome ghost. <laughs> Goodbye, handsome. Our paths will cross again. My God. Say no to pot. <laughs> no. Well done. Now you're a good person. <laughs> what? Sign reads House of G. Charon. Something seems off. You hastily amend the sign. It's house. Oh my god. Skip Twitch appropriate. I'll get the blank them braves tonight. <laughs> barrel. It's labeled laughs, but it doesn't seem to be terribly. <laughs> barrel full of laughs. <laughs> the fire feels faintly comforting. You warm your hands on it and try to cheer up. Hey there, brave sir knight. You in the market for some fine goods? I'll even cut you a little discount. I don't have any money. Well, well, that won't last forever, right? We got some coin. Come back and see me, yeah? Ha ha ha. See you around, Nightman. Hey, Nightman. What are you looking at? You ever seen a ghost before? Didn't we just have a fight? No. Don't be racist! <laughs> you probably fought some pawn of the afterlife administration. That ain't me. Look, pal, I don't have all day to float around here talking to you. I got boxes to unload. Unless you're going to help me, I should just you move on. I'd love to help. Huh. Well, I mean, if you take the smallest of the crates over to the pub, I'll give you, like, uh, 500 quid for it. How's that? I'll do it. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Come talk to me when the job's done, yeah? And, uh, welcome to the afterlife. Delivery box just seems like the nightliest job, but cash is cash. Love and money. Okay. Cool. Rude. <laughs> okay, that's the administration. Here's the pub. Oh ho! Welcome, brave Sir Knight. What brings you to our humble public house? Uh, just saying, hey. 
Oh, well, that is nightly. What a pleasure to have you here. Ah, oh, have a lovely day, and please, if you are here to drink, drink responsibly. Where do I deliver the package to? What are you looking at? You tell me. <laughs> Get lost. Well met, Sir Knight. Not to be rude, but I prefer to drink alone. Oh, look, it's a guy. Oh, I need to get the box, don't I? Tee hee! Wow, I've not seen you around here before. I get off at 11. And then hopefully, 10 pa- Oh! Oh! Oh, but I'm working. Care to buy a drink, handsome? No. No is a word I don't ever want to hear you say ever again. Tee hee! <laughs> Good lord! Is this the- Pick up, okay, there we go. It's heavier than you're expecting. Whatever's inside seems loose. The weight shifts unexpectedly. The sound of claws against wood rattles from within. You should probably hurry. Box of what? I thought I got the box automatically. Special delivery. Ah, oh, yes, yes, hand it over, please. Hand over the box of, huh? Oh, this is a turn up for the books. A night helping poor old fool like me with his delivery of skiv rats. Skiv rats? If the old man can answer, he drops the box and a trio of wretched little creatures burst out. Skiv rat. Oh my god. Um, I should probably heal up first. Yep. Hey Rose, how you doing? A cool afterlife. <laughs> oh no. Playing this weaker version. I'm <laughs> trying to get that one. There we go. Yeah, I would say, definitely say when you're in like the very early stages of the game when they don't have any money to get items or any really skill, real skills or anything, you want to aim towards weaker. This feels like an okay balance to me. I'm healing when I should be. The rats aren't in danger of really killing me. Takes me a couple of whacks to get them down. I feel like the balance is pretty good on this, honestly. So if this is the weaker version, then you've, you've tweaked it just right, in my uh, opinion. I do like the battlers though. They all look really good. The dust settles and a dull murmur of general bar conversation rises back up. This is worse. One of the patrons class for you in your victory over the skiv rats. Well, you've saved me a job at least. Looks like meat's on the menu tonight. Thank you for the delivery. Oh God. Ah, have a lovely day. And please, if you are to drink, drink response. Oh no. Well, where's my 500 quid? Oh, hey, you're back. How'd it go? Box is full of skiv rats. <laughs> Wait, did you look inside the box? You get that, that's pretty major breach of trust, right? It was an accident! What kind of accident? You explained the events at the bar and the battle you were forced to fight against the three rodent snake things. No, I don't want to become famous. Huh. Okay, fine. Here's a small bonus. Let's call it a uh, danger pay, yeah? Oh, I like that. Got 650 coin things. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. Bam. Right now I can buy some stuff. What do we got? Potion for 50. Shield. Oh, hey. Seeing salts. Smell like smelling small salts, but for your eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the shield because, yeah. A little more than a piece of wood you hold in front of your body. Better this gets hit than you, right? Here on Nightman. Okay, equip. Okay, let's go in here now. Okay, that's, I actually kind of like that. That if you could pick the right choices and it's not really reliant on that. You're still going to get your reward, but you can get a little extra if you make the right right uh, dialogue decision. I kind of like that. Come in, come in. We've been expecting you. The new knight at last. He looks like Bert. 
He looks like a humanoid Bert. And the voice I heard? Voice. Oh, you mean your little anti-stress welcoming committee? No, that was not me. That will have been some um, lesser within the organization. No doubt you're wondering why you have summoned, we, we, we have summoned you, am I correct? Uh, orientation. Well, yes, of course you're here for orientation. Well done for listening. You've been selected from billions of souls to accept the role of knighthood. Why me? Does that matter? I'm picking the wrong choices. Well, as matters that you've been selected by a celestial authority, as much now, and as such must now report for service. Do I make myself clear? I said, oh great, Hawk, speaking of the right choices. It immediately picks all the wrong choices. What kind of service? Knighthood is an honor. It's bestowed to one in every billion souls to cross over from, that cross over from the living world. Two cross over. Hmm. Sam the I you okay, you actually made me more Sam the Eagle, you're right. You're one of the rare few who should be well, I don't want to say the words. Glad to have died, but honestly, it was always inevitable. Inevitable. And this way you don't have to languish in obscurity for eternity. You're still not being specific. Uh well. Yes, quite. Straight to it then, I suppose. Tell me, do you have much experience of uh combat? Yes. Good. Knights are here in the afterlife. Here in the afterlife are usually selected for their proficiency. But here you are no exception. Let's talk about your first assignment. It's a good old-fashioned monster hunt. Don't pretend you're not feverishly overexcited. What happened to orientation? Or I'm not gonna hurt any damn monster. <laughs> oh, the monster hunt con constitutes your orientation, don't you see? You hardly have a choice. What with that military grade body we slapped your soul in. <laughs> military grade body. <laughs> Your body. What? Or are you expect you hunt with a knife? <laughs> well, of course, we would expect you to go off and hunt a monster without some help. Let me introduce you to your orientation partner. Oh, Denzel! <laughs> what? You know I'm busy, Boris. What do you want? It's our lucky day. G. Chara just passed away. <laughs> we were waiting for this for. This for... Well, yours at this point. You know what that means. Denzel. Wait. Wait. Is the only reason I'm this guy because my name fits? Or is that an actual typo? Because the sign was the same, but that was intentional. Yeah, that means Denzel. Yeah. Training day. <sighs> there are no typos. <laughs> Wonderful. So welcome to your orientation. Denzel here is going to take you out and show you the proverbial ropes. Your target is one Crab Daddy. Understood? A crab Daddy? What? <laughs> We're Ethan Hawk. <laughs> I should have named him Hawk. Wait, you want to take out this little uh, recruit to take out a must A Crab Daddy? Did I stutter? Now get out there and kill us a Crab Daddy. Denzel has begrudgingly joined your party. Smoke this PC. <laughs> Good God! If it's nothing but training day references, my God, I could be inside. Kindly step away from that. That is AA property. Don't make me tell you twice. Oh, I thought there'd be something. So many scrolls. What are these used for? They're written in some fancy language you've never seen before. Tell me, can you read? No matter. These are not for your eyes. Maybe someday. Not today. Clear off. I can't be seen chatting. See what JD time soon. Okay, and then you keep from this side. Can I? Nope. Okay. Well, let's go find a crab daddy. Smoke this PCP. Good God. Lock. Do you want to knock? Yes. Nothing. Okay. Um, crab daddy's got to be at a beach, right? All right. This is it. Crabu Crabu Beach. Layer of the mighty crab daddy. Watch out for a smoke screen attack. I can blind you like that. Like that? Yeah, man. That guy's real dangerous. Trying to get us double dead, all right? If you can find any sea and salts, that'd be a smart move to bring with us. Crab Daddy ain't playing around. Hey, sea and salts, there we go. Walk like crab, talk like people. Crab cake emerged. <laughs> it's a literal crab. It's a literal crab cake, my god. 
Muscles, what? I like that. <laughs> Sataru. Oh no. I should heal up after this. Oh, come on! Take the so nice. Usual looking feather. It's warm to the touch. You get a feather of the phoenix! What a good boy. I wonder whose he is. Ladies, they're sleeping. Probably best to leave them be. Locked. Do you want to knock? These look like things. Nothing. It's, yeah, you just leave. Okay. What the? Uh, Denzel? Oh, I figured I should probably explain the difference between MP and TP. It's gonna be pretty important if we're gonna be fighting monsters together. Okay, what do I... Uh, MP and TP... We, we know what it is. I think I've got her. I'm not an idiot, Denzel. I did talk to the doggo. Fine. Guess you won't be needing my help. No! No! Shit! Oh, God, I thought he was going to leave me to my own. Oh, sad itself. You wonder what stops it blowing away when you realize you don't care. You feel Coco nutty if you're even thinking about it. Wait, did, did I seriously? Oh no. Oh no. I don't mean to piss Denzel Washington off. If I get a new knight, it feels like the fighting is a fresh recruit. No, Denzel, don't go. <laughs> He's just ignoring you at this point. And for a rough night. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, something easier through the day. You see, at least you're doing you. Maybe you love it now. And spirits. Still still, you think. Dangerous stuff, but it does the job. Let's have some wine. There we go. Okay, let's just... <laughs> Not much. You ready to talk bootlegger? Get out of my face! Now! <laughs> okay. And not being a jerk. Let's continue. So is now a bad time to say I've never actually seen Training Day? See, so soon as Chekhov's gone. Okay, I'm gonna save. First roll heal. What are you doing on my beach, lad? Don't you know I'm trying to grill over here? Bugger off with ye. Shit, this is the guy. Monster we're looking for. Get ready, night boy. Hey, what are you calling a monster? You guys are on my beach. You, you guys are the real monsters. But enough talking. I say bugger off. What the? F <laughs> Crab Daddy's belt and claw emerged. Crab Daddy's reading claw emerged. Crab Daddy's smoking pipe emerged. All right, kid. This thing ain't playing around. Don't hold anything back here, mate, or I make you his little crap bitch. Let's get to work. Uh, let's go for the belting claw. Got it. Which is footy results. Smoky pipe defense went down. Okay, get the smoking pipe. Snip. Who 
who's your daddy? Don't make this weird, man. <laughs> okay, smoke a pipe slain. Okay, now to take out the reading claw. I know the art's already already all done and everything, but it would be kind of neat if the different actors just like his claws like disappeared pipe disappeared other claw disappeared as you're taking him down Damn, I'm impressed Hmm Prince isn't dead crap daddy's irrational belief in the survivability of physical news media has resurrected his reading claw. Oh god What? <laughs> what? I like it though. <laughs> There's a good amount of humor here. Like, it is not annoying humor either. Like, it's meme -y. This is the kind of game that meme games should be, you know? Where it's not in your face, it's just dumb little puns here and there, some pop culture references, but it's not all over the fucking place where you're just sick of it. Enough dad joking around. Time to get serious. Oh, he's enraged. I think we're fine, though, health-wise. We're officially not annoying, <laughs> Snuff. Yeah, exactly, Katie, exactly. Got him. Three hundred quid. Three. Defibrillate enemy, defibrillate friend. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Wait till your mom hears about this. She's gonna be so crabby. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Be the mighty crab daddy. Nice work. Well, that was whack. Come on, kid, let's go report in. Fast travel back to town? Yes, I like that. Ah, you returned. I am to assume that the crab daddy's been dealt with? That thing was tough. Oh, come now, boy. You can't have been that tough. You and Denzel seem to have managed to best him without so much as a death between you. <laughs> Let's address the matter of your reward. Wait, you did want a reward, correct? <laughs> okay, I feel like this is a trick question. We already established that there are bonus bonuses for different options. And being, you know, selfless like this could give me something bonus or could screw me over. I also save just before this so I can save scum if I'm wrong. A good deed is its own reward. Nonsense! You'll take your reward and you'll thank me for it. Yo, can I, like, go now? Silence, Denzel. Let's not raid on the last parade, eh? Now then, your reward. The man, whom you realize has yet to introduce himself, reaches under the desk and brings out quite the sharpest sword you've ever seen. It's got a lot of- it's not got a lot of competition, but it still impresses you. There. A knight should not be without his sword. That's what we call a universal truth. And with that, you have come to the conclusion of your orientation. You did it. You're now officially a knight. You feel like a million bucks. You want to call your mum. Now comes the obvious issue of what the hell to do next, eh? Well, you have one singular order. Go out into the Honeycomb Kingdom and do good. That sounds like a pretty broad remit. Well, you're not wrong there. In fact, I... Hey, listen here. Why am I still standing around here? We just did you a favor. Oh, that is enough. You will not speak to me like that again. Do I make myself understood? Yes, sir. Now, as I was saying... What in the nine hells was that? You two are the only knights in the building right now. Go outside and investigate, now! A massive explosion, war as heck. The quiet seaside town of Blighton. Get out there and sort whatever is causing the disturbance. On the double. Whatever's threatening town. Reward's not dying, again. You rush outside in the face of overwhelming heat. 
You hear the click of a lock sliding into place behind you and try to make sense of the scene. Oh, shit. What the hell is this? Jared, come on, you're on point. Equip that sword, let's do this. Oh, nice. You can't leave? Not at a time like this. A knight doesn't run. A charred corpse. You wonder what happens with, to you in the afterlife when you're burned alive. It's not a pleasant thought. A portal. God only knows to where. An eldritch light flickers oddly. It makes you feel uncomfortable to look at. It feels... unnatural. Let's turn up the heat! Flamer emerged. Got him. Oh, okay, you def not, that's a nice effect. It got lighter, the red effect dimmed. Come on, you think you can fight fire with fire? I'll burn you out. You gotta get his TP up. I wanna try his muscles. There we go. Oh shit. Uh, friends. Zappo a dead o back to life, or a life o back to dead. <laughs> so you can use it as I like that. You can use it either as a good attack or a bad attack. I like that. What? Oh no! It's TP. I said TP, not PP. There we go. Experience forty quid. That I actually. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big fan of that. How it changes to become lighter as it. Yeah. Burn. Burn. I should try the. What am I not trying the actual electric? There we go. Oh man, this is horrible. You guys need some healing? Please. Okay, by the friendly ghost. Alright, go give him hell! Well, another has risen to join the flock. Ah, uh, yes, power. <laughs> and Izuba, thank you so much for that subscription. Really appreciate it. 25 months, little over a year. That's insane, man. Thank you so much for that. How you doing tonight? No, not the pub. The elf girl. I was going to make out with the guy. Ah! He's not moving. All right. Even for the afterlife, this seems pretty out of the ordinary. We should probably save. I already, yeah, jump in the portal. Uh, did I say almost? I said I meant a little over. Sorry. Nice. How's the new shop going? Has has you haven't opened it yet, have you? I know you said you're setting it up, but oh my god, be careful, Charon. This is we're in heck. I found a bottle of potion in this red metal chest. That's oddly convenient. This potion in here. The circumstances definitely feel like you're going to need it. There's nothing in this crate. It's heavily dented at the bottom, and the planks that what constitute, constitute the body have been splintered apart with some degree of force. Self a while. Nice! Approach the flamers. Remember me? This time we really met your match! Time for you to get extinguished! If you don't like the heat, I've never been one for cooking. Let's roast these fools, Charon. <laughs> Flame is afoot! <laughs> All is fire and love and war! <laughs> fire. It, it burns so good. <laughs> God. Ow. Um, uh, I'm gonna take a chance here. I'm gonna take a small chance here. 
One down. Yes. It's okay. Okay. Excellent killings. Killings and shit. Wait, what? What was the victory music? I know that song. It's a. Is that my country, Tis of Thee? She already got my magic level one license again in my Pokemon Presser thing. Oh, cool. That's really cool, Inazuma. Is that, uh, is a, oh my god, save, it's God Save the Queen. Oh god, it's in America, it's my country, tis of thee. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's God Save the Queen. <laughs> he's British. Oh, I forgot, he's British. I, I totally, I didn't forget he was British, but God, I've never heard God Save the Queen. I know, my country tis of the sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Is it God save the queen? Is that what? Wow, I've never heard. I didn't, I didn't even know there was a different version. I swear to God. I swear to God. This, I am 41 years old. This is the first time I'm hearing that God save the queen is the same as my country tis of thee. Wow. I can't believe. You managed to defeat us. I feel so put out. <laughs> wow, I... Wow. I need to sit down for a minute. I don't like the cut of your jib, you varmint. I don't like the cut of your jib. Hey, it's that dude. Gold. Always believe in it. Not the time. Right. Got it. Piles of them, piles of coins. You can't take them. There are more important matters at hand. Come on, let me let me just take a little. Go. Always believe it. Scree! <laughs> what have we here? A couple little knights right for the slaughter. You bent imp. <laughs> oh, oh! I see what you did there. Imp, imp! We're not finding this clown. Are we, yo, we find this clown or not, Sharon? <laughs> Enough talk. How about you? God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen. God save the queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious, long to reign over us. God save the queen. I don't even know if I sound that right. Anyway, I've just offended everyone British. Okay. It's okay because I've been doing the French for a while now, so I think it's time to switch gears and go with the British for a little bit. <laughs> Enough talk, how about you? <sighs> the register retro. Hell Gremlin emerged. Manly Beard emerged. What? It's gonna be so much fun. When I'm done with you, there'll be hell to pay. <laughs> Manly Beard. I have to. <laughs> Take out the beer. Take out the beer. <laughs> yeah, it's the heel, okay. It is pretty masculine looking. <laughs> there we go. No fair! I need a single British. <laughs> right. uh, I really want to drive home that you, if you see healer, you murder it. That's honestly kind of how I play games. I usually always take down wherever the healer is. You ain't seen nothing yet. Get a lot of this. Nothing says I'm concerned about my standing in the combat currently unfolding. Like someone in your mates. <laughs> Let's smoke these fools. <laughs> Is that what it said? I didn't even see that. It goes too fast. Like, 
really bad. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Such a Dora. <laughs> that's actually not a bad idea, Dora. I always like summoning in uh, games. Muscles. Instantly grow another beer. We said that about <laughs> There we go. It's God Save the Queen! The joke attack. It's level six. For once, I'm having good RNG. That's nice. I, uh, I see. Looks like I best be getting out of here. Ciao, nerds! Hey, hey, get back here, you asshole! God damn it! Come on, kid. Let's report back to Boris. Let's kill Top Tier! You debrief with Boris of the Afterlife Authority, telling him you know all about the attack from the Legions of Heck. All you know. Admittedly, it, admittedly, it's not a lot, but the old man advises you to rest up a while. A week passes. The Lightning is restored and repaired. Tales of how a new knight named Charon and a veteran knight mentor named Enzel saved the town and reached the capital. Hey kid, you did good. Come on, enough moping around, you house. Boris wants to see us. Okay, let's go. Good thing you for saving the town. You're so brave and handsome. <laughs> hey, Everson Raid Knight. Uh, you market some fine goods? Let me get you a little discount. Uh, no, no. Understandable. See you around, Nightman. Actually, what can I... Have anything different? Nope, we're good. Okay. I don't have anything else for you right now, pal. Maybe later. I, I don't know. Thanks for saving the town, I suppose. The beard go on living? That'd be kind of funny, actually. You're a shit, you save the town. What the hell are you looking at? You tell me. Hmm. Get lost. You're well met, Sir Knight. Not to be rude, but I prefer to drink alone. He's just ignoring this point. Teehee! Wow, I've not seen you around here. Wait, yeah, you have. Girl, I just saved the town! Wow, okay. Oh, ho! Reset our humble bunk house. I need a drink, ha, oh, certainly. What can I get you? Uh, have a lovely day. Please, if you have to drink, drink responsibly. Uh, let's go report in. Girl, he just saved the town. <laughs> ah, you returned. I really can't thank you enough for what you did for our fair little burg. And it seems I'm not the only one you have moved. Moved? What do you mean? I'm starting to get a reputation, eh? It was nothing, just my duty as a knight. I think I'm gonna be a little full of myself. Well, quite, I should say. Although I shouldn't let that go to your head just- Oh god, I picked the wrong one again, if I were you. <laughs> Since you've given yourself some variety of commendation. On your first day, no less. So thanks to you that Blighton is not a pile of ash. Is that, like, a royal you? Or is my contribution gonna- Denzel, that is quite enough! Yeah, right. You're probably right. All is forgiven, naturally. After all, you fought bravely as a true knight. Of course you're also to be commended. Oh, oh, damn. I've never been this excited in my whole damn afterlife. Congratulations, Denzel. Thanks, pal. If you're quite done, I am now authorized to issue a gate pass to allow you entry to the capital, the seat of power here in the Honeycomb Kingdom. Boris, your handler in the Afterlife Authority, has received word that you're commended for your acts of heroism in saving Blighton from the light, from legions of heck. The ceremony is performed by the Honeycomb King. Honeycomb. <laughs> Good lord. As such, you'll need to travel to the capital. Looks like you are finally things are finally starting to go your way. Of Londo, oh no. That's not Anna or Londo, is it? Okay, that's proper wood and lacquered to a sheen. It even smells good. Now, please, head over to Londo at once. You can't miss it, it's just north of the Crabu Crabu Beach. Uh, thank you, this is an honor. I shall await your return, presumably suitably decorated for your knightly acts of gallantry. Enjoy the capital, lads. Want to check in how you can do in some of... Uh, in how... Wait, uh... That was... I, <laughs> what was... I'm a little confused now, but I think you mean go to the town north, and I could do... Okay. What's the same place? You're the words. Dressing family ranch. 
Underneath is something I had a note recently. Adventurer is sorely needed. Well, howdy, mister. My name's Little Maid Dressing. What's yours? Charon. Charon, that's a pretty name. Nice to meet you, Charon. I couldn't help noticing you're reading that there help wanted sign my pa put up. Uh, why do you sorely need adventurers? Don't let your boy influence you. Oh, well, it's the darndest thing. Pa knows more. You can find him in the house over there. The figure regards you with hollow eyes, its blank stare permeating into the depths of your very soul. You attempt to hold its gaze, but you find yourself compelled to look away. You decide the crows are right. <laughs> Nay! A pile of rubble. It smells like... Maybe we shouldn't get into what it smells like. Oh no. I hate manure. It's a bucket. One of the many you've seen since you kicked yours. A shovel. If you wielded this, you'd be an indie icon by now. A barrel. Blissfully monkey free. Hunk. Farm have poop flies. I know that, Tora. Portraits hung high on the wall. A small plaque on the frame reveals the identity of the subject. Ma dressing. I should quickly pocket it. These guys have a ton of bread. It smells good. You suddenly feel pretty hungry. A vase of flowers. You don't recognize the genus, but you don't know if this is because you are some kind of afterlife exclusive. If they are some kind of afterlife exclusive flora, or because you're terrible at botany. <laughs> well, howdy, son. I'm Paul Dressen. I had a name once, but Parenthood has supplanted it. Now, folks, just call me Pa. Have we heard you're looking for adventurers, Pa? In the barn of the house? <laughs> because horses are people, too. You fellers got more giddy up than me, by gumption. I'm looking for adventurers. Help me with my wife. Help me find my wife. She's been missing almost three days. You fellows adventurers? Sure are, pal. Pa. <laughs> Darn tootin'. I knew I had the look of you, right? What do you say to helping the dressing family out of a pickle, son? I say saddle up. Saddle me up. Yeehaw. Well, I'll gladly pay y'all my savings to head into the woods behind the ranch and seek out old Ma Dressin'. She's been gone almost three days by my accountant. I'll take the job by gumption. That's the spirit. I'll take down the barricade. That shall let you get into the forest. Be careful in there. Apartments are rustling up a storm. Haley, <laughs> no. Pa Dressing has filled you in on his plight. His wife has gone missing. He's beside himself with worry. He bids you enter the salad forest and attempt to find her. Dude, why are you adopting his accent? Shit made me feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Good as this food looks, you have no idea how long it's been there. Probably best to leave this, right? Okay, let's go. Download Tinder. Oh my god. Wow, brew. Wow. A beat-up signpost, which clearly hasn't been maintained in many, many years. Make out the words, salad forest. forest. To lower the quarantine spikes, use the lever guarded by the carrot field of death. I'm trying to remember where you see in the carrot field. Post. He's trapped. This can kill you. Metatextually, you figure it might be smart to save. <laughs> Metatextually. Okay. Ow! Can't walk into whatever that thing was. Preferably ever again. Oh, enemy. Oh, Jacko Plantern! It's getting lit, fam! Oh my god, what? What? No, 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 no. Ah, no. No! What's that? Uh, heal yourself. Muscle. Oh, wait, he missed. Damn it! Heh, <laughs> 69.
Okay. There's no indication of what spots are good to walk in. Oh my god. I did. There's there's no indication of what spots are okay and what aren't. It's trial and error, isn't it? Ugh. Okay, if I go one more, it'll hit me. The other sign. I read the other sign. It said... It said Carrot Field of Death. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you... You piece of poop. You absolute piece of poop. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. What? I didn't go up far enough. God damn it. You see something? That's a woman. She's not moving. We're just going to move on then. It's this empty field. Do you want to pull it? Yes. Tells me, must have done something right. All right, there we go. Who piles on the door? God dang it! <laughs> you found me. Oh shit! I gotta heal up after this. Think I can get the gold? I think. Um, I don't know if you know this about the uh, MV or any RPG Maker engine. Whatever you set the encounter rate steps to, divide that in half because that's what your encounter rate actually is. So if you set it to 70 steps, it's gonna be every 35. Like every 35 steps, because for some reason it counts each movement as two steps. It's stupid math. I don't know why it does that, but, you know. So if you think you've set the encounter rate pretty high, it is. It, it's, it's always been dreadful. Yeah, it's so dumb. Oh. Oh, wait, I can get the chest this way. 50 coins. I feel moderately more wealthy. Wealthier, even. Ah, well, whatever. We're out. Right into a fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, the, the character takes two steps per square. It's not, it's never been very clear about that. Centauro. Get his die. Please. Oh my god, he's burning. Okay, over the bridge. Found a file. Chug a lug. It's an off red either. <laughs> They sit in and start singing the, the Chug Jug song. What's your favorite? Damien. Oh no. Good night, everybody. Yeah, here, Damien. Have a good night. Thank you for joining me. You are awesome as always. Take it easy. So, the wrong rookie. What's with all the monsters? Uh, well, that dressing guy did say there were varmints running loose in the forest. They're probably just too local to the area. Nothing to worry about. Anyway, come on, Sharon. We gotta find old Ma Dressen. These varmints <laughs> could have gobbled her up or burned her alive by now, after all. 
Ligma. Ligma balls. Oh god. Emerged. Is that in a global cooldown? Might be a global one. Financial looking feather. But look, it's feather phoenix. You feel a little safer already. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Chill runs on your spine. You should maybe save. Was that? Man, that was some freaky shit. Okay, brace yourself, kid. Here it comes. What the hell? Shocktopus emerged. You're gonna be disappointed, Damien. I'm just letting you know that right now. Enemy spotted. Engaging targets. Deploying ten tactical subunits. Ten tactical. Ten tackle. Ten tackle appeared. Hey, Chair, does this guy seem, I don't know, off brand to you? <laughs> Is it common? Yeah, you're gonna be disappointed. I'm just letting you know right now. You did offline. Days nuts. Now, hold on, before you try moan again, let me. I'm gonna change something real quick on that. Uh, where is it? Where's sound? Sound files. It's on zero zero, so I don't know why that's. I wonder if other ones cause. I might have to edit all these just so that I just take away the uh, cooldowns, because people aren't abusing them. So I think we're okay. Yeah, other ones put it up to do user cooldowns. What's the first one you did? You did goodnight, didn't you? change that one should be on a global cooldown but not a user cooldown there we go yeah I've got to edit these voice files after a while okay choices gifts in store on here might be pleased to pour long may she reign may she oh god you <laughs> god, see you're still oh Mine. my god okay there we go it's, it's just this Mine. that's it Damien Thank you. Hey, Qcon, how you doing? I'm gonna have. I'll. I'll. I'll adjust the uh, voice lines after a while. Yeah, I told you you would be disappointed. Mine. <laughs> okay. No damn well. You did offline. Wait, why, yeah, why am I using electricity on something that's called a shock to push? I'm an idiot. You did offline. Mine. <laughs> you did offline. Oh shit, I gotta heal. Reboot 10 tackle unit. Unit online. Oh god. So that was worthless. The Glocktopus! What? I'm just focusing on the big guy then. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god, no. No, fuck! God damn it. Yeah, which is exactly what he did! Okay, I need to use the potions, because... He's okay. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, he's not okay now. Shit. And he's the protagonist, Wrath. Where are the crits when I need them? Ten tackles are fucking me up. Wish Stanley never die, Leaf. Except when it does. <laughs> Next space jam. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's right. Doing anything with the tentacles is just a waste. There we go. Okay. Critical error. You defeated the mighty Shocktopus. Nice work. Quick, grab my dress and let's get the hell out of here. You did it. I can't thank you enough, partner. Here, take all my savings. Modersing hands you about old 200 quid, wrapped in a foul smelling kerchief. Thanks, Paul. Yeehaw! Don't be a stranger, you hear? A large double bed. All things considered kind of normal, but you feel a bit awkward given that people clearly share this room. Ma dressing sleeps soundly against the wall. Bed is unmade. You recall being told once that you should always make your bed in the morning. That way, you know that no matter how bad the day went, you at least did one thing right. The memory feels dumb. Praise be. Oh, wait. Let's wait a second. Clearly, this guy's. There are these guys standing. This is why you use Banks paw dressing. Ha! Ha! I got double paid! Nice. And she's just uh, sleeping. That's all. She's. Uh, wrath. Uh-uh. Feature. A name? Oh, the chair. Yeah, that's right. Okay, nothing more. Sleeping. Can I rest at my house? Is that a, is that a thing? Is that a thing? Come on, Denzel. Let's go to bed. It's way too bright to sleep. Oh. Interesting. I'm glad I could rest eight my house. <laughs> there we go. Oh no! It's those rats again! Hail adventure and well met! I'm a garbage man. Just waits while you nap. What's this? The sign has seen better days. It reads, Welcome to the spa room, home of the Hot Step Hot Springs. Only parties of three may undertake the challenge of spa room. Imposing vibe. Huh. Oh, welcome to Port Beeswax. Let me know if you need anything, hon. I also want to say, I like that not everything is white. What? I never seen a shop car before? Sorry, we only sell to licensed magi. You know, qualified people. Not knights who stumbled into magic powers. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, Brew. 
I do, yeah, I like I like that all the NPCs, or at least most NPCs, get some good portraits. Or a spatial distortion. It's sad that in some places a very fabric of space can seem become distorted. Now this sounds pretty wild. I can swear I've heard of a place like that somewhere in the kingdom. Welcome to Fantasy Europe! <laughs> Cloud. You've never seen these before. I feel like you probably chop some and use it to build something. What? I don't think it's weird meeting something with a face like mine. <laughs> what? The man chokes down the mouthful of food he was chewing on. Can you see that I'm eating? Piss off! See, I seem more interested in their drink than their own conversation than the, and their own conversation, allowing you to butt in. You wonder if people only talk to you because of the job. No. Excuse me, my lord. I'm a bit busy right now running the kitchen. If you want to order something, try the block down at the front desk. Reach into the hole seeking glory. <laughs> huh, what do you know? You found a super rare earth scroll curled up beside the wall. You can use these in battle. This is... Unexpectedly fantastic news. <laughs> God. Drake Zero special drink. Hey, yep. Here for food, you defense the place, sleep for the night. Here for food. Oh, nice one. Fun as in the honeycomb kingdom we are. Is the menu. A delicious meal. So bitchy and a bit of envy. Delicious. I was expecting garbage it's pretty mundane looking helmet in the chest it seems a uh, kind of bad honestly you got a viking helmet okay but is it better than what i have yes it's not half horn on them it's a myth a boring myth <laughs> it's a myth a boring myth oh my god can i get any other gear you know, I heard this place supplies all the so-called pretty good swords in the netherworld. Nobody knows how they keep up with demand. Well, let me just export through the port. I knew you'd get it. Wait, what? The sailor come from? Closer, well, featured a cartoonishly handsome muscular knight. Under it is emblazoned the words, pretty good long swords, 20% off. Ah, hello, dearie. I'm out here challenging gender roles and loving it. <laughs> Wait, okay. You need to tell me. Is this sarcastically yeah, or am I like agreeing with her? Yeah, go girl. Cause I wanna know how much of a dick I'm being. If I <laughs> Yeah, nice one lady. Oh, he's on a DD quest rap. I just I just need to I, I wanna pick the good answer here, but I wanna make sure this is a good answer, not just overly sarcastic. Yeah, Queen. Bubbly. All right, you're a creep, I get it. Just let me do my job, yeah? Oh, no. Forget my excellent efficiency at craftsmanship. Forge, you try to present a pretty good longsword in this sword. This sword seems exploitable. Wait. Black of Mazam, uh, Mambazo Smithy. We got a special cool swords today. I love cool swords. Excellent, here's what we got. Pretty good longsword, okay. A sweet axe. <laughs> Heavy metal armor, unusual knight's armor, Viking helmet. I already got one of those. Um, there are no bad answers. <laughs> um, mm. maybe I'll get uh, six hundred. I'll be pretty much it. Everything's so expensive. All right, fucking, I'm going to go with the offense. Serve me well for now. Oh, he's still pretty good. Okay, nice. Yeah, what do we got? actually know? Wait, so, what can I? I'll, I'll keep this stuff. 
Oh, I still have a hat, okay. Okay, I can get two of the kite shields, so that's good. Okay, so... Bye bye. One more, okay. Perfect. Sell that last bit of armor. Boom! Get the hell out of here. Actually, wait, I like looking around. The knight's armor looks somewhat unusual. Infer that it is a set of unusual knight's armor. It looks bog standard. How dull. Especially compared to the stuff next to it. Not even a real item with stats. His knight's armor looks heavy. He surmised that it is heavy metal armor. A slaggy. Just like your mum. That was uncalled for. I'm sorry. <laughs> just like your mum. Oh my god. Mail order catalogs. That is to say, catalogs where you can order chain mail. Pretty swish. You especially like the horns. I wonder if you could buy one of these. Death metal armor. Locked. Do I knock? Yes. Nothing. That sounds amazing. Oh, hey! Did you know that most people have more than one thing to say to you? So, we should talk to people more than once, huh? Thanks for the tip, kid. Ah, taking my advice immediately, huh? That's a smart knight for sure. Which step stands under protection of the Merchant's Guild Dead Eye Protectorate. That's a mouthful, but we're strong dudes. I'm a sailor, and I can't get to my boat because my boat deed conf I had my boat deed confiscated. This sucks. Talk to my commodore if I want to get my boat deed back. And I hate that guy. A little rough hewn. It reads, Port Beeswax Harbor Masters. What we're up to is none of your beeswax. Huh. You ever seen a ship? They're mighty impressive. Because they're even in deep water, not like rowboats. I, myself, am the captain of a ship. Before you ask, we don't take passengers. Sorry, in advance. Oh, cheaper, mister. I didn't see there. Can't you see when you need liquor? Are you a little young to be doing this? Man. <laughs> Brew. Dude, I died 65 years ago. I'm not young, I'm worldly. <laughs> this kid's still child coded, and that's deeply uncomfortable. Oh, God! Yes, thank you for saying that! Thank you! God, it needed to be said, everybody! Let's see, here it is. Hey, patient, how you doing? Ah. Uh. Hey, welcome to Port Beeswax Item Shop. You looking to buy something? Sure am. Music to my ears. Here's what we have in stock. Blantidote. Let's see how it tastes real, but it occurs. 95% of stats. Ailments. Burnout Mint. 5% of stats can bland. No, it doesn't. <laughs> nice. Sort of items fill this box. You see a couple of potions, a blended dote to name a couple, and a blended dote to name a couple. I don't like Super Mario, but it functions like an old time counter service shop. The afterlife is wild. A pot containing food. Wow, this is like a terribly inefficient way of storing food. So much volume occupied by air and not food. Pick the lock, but you still have no skill on super secret late game lock picking skill. <laughs> Not, yes. Nothing. Lock on the base of the statue reads the first night. Just looking around for quests. Hey, okay, this is Port Authority. They kind of have dominion over the, you know, the port. I really find my captain. Lots of subways drunk his out of his ass and the beeswax in. The request or anything. Don't expect out. Hmm? Oh, welcome to the Beeswax Port Authority. Can I help you with something? What is it you do here? Deal with people like you. Lucky Lou's who have not a single nautical bone in their corpses. Okay, then. Hey, welcome to Port Beeswax Break. What? <laughs> nice. Make yourself at home. Why does he look like that? Okay, let's just let's just go to the castle.
What the? Oh, we came at it from the other angle. Okay. You're here for the ring, aren't you? Okay. All will be revealed. Let's go. I've been waiting out here for weeks to hear if my application into the city has been approved or no. Warnum's no treat, eh? Even for the dead. Maybe we could help you out? That'd be amazing, pal. I'd owe you a big time, that's for sure. Just chase up my application. That's all I can ask, right? Passing pen. You're going to try and squirt away by chasing up the application side of the city. Give me a side, okay. Hey, it's the merchant. Oh, no, see, he hands a. He raises a hand lazily in greeting. Hail and well met, brave sir knight. You mark for some Londo exports. Top quality, only the best. A ring. Uh, it seems to boost the power of your offensive magic. Offensive like fire, not ring. Oh, God! Counterfeit gate pass. Oh, God! Carbon, it looks screwed. <laughs> that gate pass looks pretty sus. That's guy ain't on the level. Be seen yet, brave sir knight. You messed it all up. Look, look, here you go. Right, you're all set. <laughs> Unlock the gate! Unlocking the gate! Right, you're all set. Right, you're all set. Gates unlocked. Enjoy your stay in London, sir. Big card salutes. Because you may now enter the city. That's what I figured. I've seen a good number of statues since you got here, but none are as grand as the one standing at this crossroads. You wonder what it could be? That's a celestial authority. Kind of a big deal. I'll fill you in one day, rookie. <laughs> hey, sirs! Did you know that you could talk to most people? Yeah, see different stuff. The salad force here's a secret spot hidden away from human eyes called the salad bowl. We were there once, but I, yeah, I didn't look around too much. A barrel. Kick it a little harder than you meant to. Ow. I like the music. Really like the music. Wow, can you believe all the great weapons these guys have for sale? It's wild, right? I knew you'd get it! Oh, he doesn't like being interrupted. Uh, look at the Londo Smithy, provider of fine arms the entire honeycomb kingdom for six centuries. Can't you see any arms or armor? Okay, so it's pretty much the stuff I... Oh, wow, the pretty good longsword was a really good deal at that one place. Holy crap. Pot helmet. The helmet which costs an amusing amount. You see, that's the weed number. It's metal lined with hemp. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, but it does not. It doesn't do it. One department. Portable housing in the heart of the honeycomb kingdom. I mean, the city has its advantages, but sometimes I do miss a quiet country life. Oh, I'm just a country girl. Who won't stop lamenting the fact that I've made the conscious decision to move to the big city? <laughs> God, I miss the countryside. <laughs> There's a beer here. It's not yours. Are you really going to take it? Yes. You got a beer. But you lost my respect. <laughs> Benny Machine, you're a little confused, but choose to buy something. That's <laughs> Benny Machine. You're not sure what's inside them, but you assume they've been left here for one of the residents here. You decide to leave them be. 1A. It's a secret in the smithy. Nobody tell him. Well, guess what? Let's see what this luster. I suddenly feel underdressed. Well, it's not gonna be all jokes. Video wizard, thanks for the host. Appreciate that. How you doing tonight? Cole and lots of it. Man, this Smith has must have a run of terrible Christmases. There's a little handle, but you can't reach it from this side. <gasps> you move through the Smithy's musty basement. The smell of mildew brings thick hangs thick and heady in the air. You emerge triumphant. Oh shit. You uh can't be back here. You plug a standard longsword from the rack. Oh god, what's she doing? This they won't miss one. She only missed one, right? Just trying to think of it as burglars. Did I pull out a set of rather unusual knight's armor? Oh god! Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> oh 
Oh no! You made the right choice. Crime. I believe this is yours. Oh. <laughs> Unabridged theft. Grand larceny. I got it, I got it. Sorry about you. I'm pretty preoccupied. Locked. Nothing in the door says on break. Call back in 15 minutes. Okay, it's been there a while. Ah, welcome, Brave Knights. Welcome to the Bank of Honeycomb. You have an account with us? You can only listen to my bag. <laughs> that kind of fiscal irresponsibility makes me feel sick to my stomach. Let's have an account. Kindly vacate the premise or I shall eject you. C can I open an account? Uh, thanks. No, here you can't. All accounts must be authorized by the treasurer of the castle. Okay. Maybe you're with indifference. He stares redheaded. As you inch closer to the gap in the counter, though, his eyes dart towards you. Clearly, he is a dangerous man. Oh, I fixed it. Yeah, she did less crime than was- Wait, there's more crime? H Hello! Welcome to the Bureau of Adventurers. You guys look like your knights. Am I on the money? Dead right. Oh, I knew it! We're an official client of the Afterlife Authority and bonded officiant of the Celestial Authority by proxy. Okay. That means you can come here for work, dummy. If everyone come back and check in on what jobs we have available, j j just come to t talk to me. Megan of the Bureau of Adventuring. Good lord, it's a real life treasure map. You're reading this right, and you almost definitely aren't. There's some kind of hidden tower in the solid forest. Oh, well, every adventure's map contains at least one. Scrolls upon scrolls. They're all marked with some kind of official looking seal formed from a stylized B, O, and A. Right, nice. Looking for looking for Yeah. Great. The quests currently available are. Nothing. Okay. There's more crime I can do? Oh my god. What more crime can I do? See the forest here. Get plus my simply without a care in the world. Wait, that's right. Right? <laughs> Those are apparently load bearing swords. Well done. You did a crime. Some might even what piece of human garbage you are for shame. You're meant to be a knight. Okay, I did all the crime. There we go. Man, these swords look pretty sweet. Or for the watchful eye of the shopkeeper, you might tempt it to. On second thoughts, it may be better to leave these alone. Please do not disturb the smith. He will not answer you, so please just don't. There, now we are criminals on the run from the law. Something wrong, rookie? If we're dead, how can there be a graveyard here? Uh. I was wondering if you're gonna comment on that. Cotton onto that? Is that a British term, cotton onto? <laughs> Let me explain. See, when we die, well, we're not really sure what happens. We all got the spiritual know how about the nature of the cosmos and shit, but when you double die, <laughs> well, you're just gone. We're all corpses already, not much sentiment there. Sentiment there. So we put down a grave marker and later rest something special at the person they lost. Probably not the answer you were looking for, eh, rookie? Okay. Oh, okay. Come on, let's move you. Can't stand around here moping like a couple of squares. 